Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the new Aviator deck from Dan and Dave. Uh, this is a classic look deck. This is a commemorative edition deck. Uh, originally, Aviators, they came out in 1927 to commemorate uh, Charles Lindbergh's transatlantic flight. Uh, he flew a plane called the Spirit of St. Louis. And so the Aviator playing cards, uh, they've been in stores ever since then. And so what separates this deck from the original deck, uh, this deck, now 90 years after the Charles Lindbergh uh, inspired deck. This one is re-inspired from Howard Hughes. Uh, now, if you don't know who Howard Hughes is, he was a pioneering airman of the 20th century. Uh, he turned his H1 racer into just a, a beacon of innovation. On the tuck case, you can actually see uh, Howard Hughes's racer high above the earth, and uh, you can just imagine that it's boldly exploring new places. So let's take a look at this tuck case. It says Aviator right across the front, and then you have a little uh, picture uh, portrait, if you will, of Howard Hughes. It says USPCC, which is United States Playing Card Company, Heritage Edition Playing Cards. On this side it says Cambric Finish, made in the USA. That doesn't mean that they don't have air cushion finish. Cambric is just another way of saying air cushion embossed. So those two finishes uh, from the United States Playing Card Company, they're, they're identical. And the other side says the United States Playing Card Company. The bottom of the tuck case has some ad copy about Dan and Dave and the United States Playing Card Company. And the top says poker number 35. You also have a vintage uh, looking inspired tuck seal there that's made to look like a tax stamp. And the back design is, of course, the back design of the cards. You also have two little stars on the inside tuck flaps, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on their retail stock. They do have an air cushion finish and a modern emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, including cambric finish, you can check the link below in the description. The back design depicts the globe with Howard Hughes's racer spinning around it and pulling a uh, banner. The inside here is kind of like a old-fashioned compass with a propeller blade right in the center, and it is a two-way back design. With this deck, you're gonna get two jokers, both depicting Howard Hughes. This, is a, this one is a full picture of him where he's saluting in front of his H1 racer, and this one is the portrait that you saw on the front of the tuck case. With this deck, you're also gonna get a couple of things. Uh, one, you're gonna get an ad card for Dan and Dave, but it also describes a little bit about this project. And then the second card is an ad card for Art of Play. Your Ace of Spades is beautiful and very patriotic. It's a eagle uh, with a shield, an American shield on its breast. Then the ribbon on the eagle's wings, it says United States Playing Card Company, and down here at the bottom, it says Made in the USA. All the pips and indices in this deck are going to appear standard. However, they are a little unique. Uh, you'll notice that the points on all the pips are a little bit sharper, uh, and the colors are just a little bit darker. You'll also notice that the indices in the corner are a brand new font. The, the core cards also have a very familiar, very classical look to them. However, if you look closely at them, you'll see that they've all been recolored, and uh, some of their outfits and their faces have been filled in with kind of like, I'll call them age stripes, just to kind of make it feel like a more vintage look and I think it really adds to the overall theme of the deck. All right, so that is it for the Howard Hughes inspired aviator deck from Dan and Dave. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at danandave.com as well as artofplay.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.